With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hello everyone, the question given to us says that what minimum number of atoms should be present in a sample of hydrogen like species so that a maximum of 6 spectral lines can be produced of electronic transition from 5th excited state up to n equals to 2. So here we are given that the electronic transition is taking place from 5th excited state. So as we know that for the 5th excited state the value of the n is 6. So the transition is taking place from n equals to 6 up to n equals to 2. Second thing we are given is that the number of spectral lines spectral lines are maximum 6. So the maximum 6 spectral lines can be produced. So we have to find out the minimum number of atoms that are required to undergo this electronic transition. So let us first draw the spectral lines for the hydrogen like species that are possible for the transition that is taking place from n equals to 2 up to n equals to n equals to 6 up to n equals to 2. Let us draw the spectral lines. The first is for n equals to 6, then n equals to 5, then n equals to 4, then 3 and then 2. So here we can write that first is for 5th excited state that is n equals to 6 then 4th excited state that is n equals to 5 then 4 then 3 and then 2. So the lines can be drawn that if an electron is present electron of an atom is present in n equals to 6 then it can move to n equals to 2 or it can move to n equals to 3 or to n equals to 4 or n equals to 5. So if the electron of an atom is present in n equals to 5, it can move to n equals to 2, then 3 and then 4. If the electron is present in n equals to 4, then it can move to n equals to 2 and n equals to 3. So this and if the n the electron is present in n equals to 3 then it can move to n equals to 2. So these are the spectral lines that are that are possible for n equals to 2, n equals to 6 for the transition between n equals to 6 and n equals to 2. So here we are given that the spectral line should be maximum of 6 and we have to find the minimum number of atom. So to find the minimum number of atom we can see here that if an atom can be present in n equals to 6 or 5 or 4 or 3 or 2 in any state. So if we have to find the minimum number of atom and the spectral line should be maximum 6. So if we choose these 4 spectral lines and these 2 spectral lines then we only need 2 atoms because one atom can undergo these 4 spectral line and one can undergo these 2. So we will need only two atoms. So we can write here that for n equals to 6, if electron moves to n equals to 5, this is one spectral line. Then from 6 to 4, the electron can move from 6 to 3, from 6 to 2. So these are four spectral lines that can be formed or produced by an atom four lines by one atom so this is the four lines that can be produced by one atom and if we move on to n equals to 5 then one atom can move from n equals to 5 to 4 then 5 to 3 so we only need six lines so these two lines can be produced by second atom so Maximum we need only 2 atoms. We can write that minimum 2 atoms are required. So minimum we require 2 atoms. Even if we choose in these 2 spectral lines instead of these 2 then also we need 
the minimum two atoms but if we choose these six lines these six lines then it will contain three atoms but we need to choose the minimum atom so minimum atoms that is needed to produce six spectral lines will be two for one for these spectral lines and two for any other or for this n equals to five to four and five to three so we need two atoms so this is our final answer thank you for class 6 to 12 itj and neat level trusted by more than 5 crore students download doubt and app today